Hi, it's Shelly from Best Buy's Plug and Blog, and this week I'm continuing my testing of the KitchenAid stand mixer attachments. Last week I tested out the KitchenAid ravioli maker, the week before I tested the KitchenAid spiralizer, and this week I'm trying out the KitchenAid precise heat mixing bowl. To use the precise heat mixing bowl, you'll have to plug it in. It's an additional plug-in to the one that you already use for your stand mixer. Um, but the thing with the precise heat mixing bowl is that it actually is a standalone. Um, so you don't have to mount this on your stand mixer unless you want to use the included attachments. As you can see on the dial, there is a temperature setting and there's also a setting specifically for tempering chocolate. Depending on which one you um, push, that's what you'll uh, end up with um, using. You can also press the dial and it will set the timer on the heat mixing bowl and it'll also set the temperature so that you can preheat or you can set the temperature um, to use it for proofing bread or chocolate or fondue. So I did a little digging online and I didn't see that many recipes online or videos sharing how to proof and rise bread in the precise heat mixing bowl. So I thought I would give that a try. I have some yeast, um, ginger, sugar, and a little bit of water. And what I'm going to do first, um, you can hear that it's beeping because it's set at the right temperature. Um, what I'm gonna do first is um, add my yeast. If you could feel the bowl right now, you would feel that it's slightly warm. It's about 95 degrees. That's what I set it for. And I'm going to add a pinch of ginger. Some water. And I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of sugar. I can put the mixer attachment on the paddle mixer attachment to mix this, um, but I don't really need to until I'm actually blending the rest of the ingredients into the bread. So I'm going to let that sit for approximately five minutes and uh, the heat will activate the yeast. Okay, it's been about three minutes and my yeast is activated and it's ready for the other ingredients. Okay, now that my yeast has been proofed and is uh, activated, I'm ready to use the stand mixer with the precise heat mixing bowl. Um, I have some of my other ingredients that I need to um, add, but first I'm going to add the whisk attachment. So that pops right on. Next, I'm going to add two cups of buttermilk. A third of a cup of honey. Approximately a quarter teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of baking soda. Then I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to let the KitchenAid whisk the ingredients right in the precise heat mixing bowl. Once those ingredients are whisked together, I'm going to remove the whisk, put it over there, and I am going to add the dough mixer, the dough attachment. Once that's clipped on, I'll take my bread flour and I will add three cups of bread flour right now. Turning on my dough attachment, I'll let that work through the flour. And keep in mind that the temperature is uh, stable in this bowl at 95, 96 degrees. So that's six cups of flour total. And then you add in a quarter cup of melted butter. Six 
So I have run it through the dough hook and as you can see I've got a nice sticky bread dough. And what I'm going to do now, um, as it's preheating, is make sure that the um, dough is uniform in the bowl. And it's pretty sticky right now, but that's usually what happens with bread dough before it rises. And I'm going to pop the lid on and I'm going to let it rise. The reason why it's so handy to be able to have your bread um, dough rise in the precise heat mixing bowl is because it basically puts everything in one container um, or one pot. You don't have to go from your stand mixer to um, rolling out the dough or anything like that. You can actually just keep it all in one pot and then pop it into, once it's risen, you can pop it into your bread loaf um, or your mini loaf pan and you're ready to go. You can bake it. Okay, so we're back after half an hour and I'm going to check on my bread loaf and see how much it's risen. Oh wow, and you can see that it has doubled in size in only a half an hour. Um, that's due to the heat coming from the KitchenAid Precise Heat Mixing Bowl. Normally in my kitchen, um, if I were to put a loaf of bread onto the counter, it would take two hours to rise to this level um, and I could do it in the oven but then um, I have to use one more appliance. The KitchenAid Precise Heat Mixing Bowl actually does the job of many appliances all in one. Cleaning up the KitchenAid Precise Heat Mixing Bowl is really easy. All you have to do is pop it in your dishwasher. The inner compartment and the lid can are dishwasher safe, as are the attachments that come with the heat mixing bowl. The actual mixing bowl, you can just wipe down with a warm cloth and it's ready to go again. And as you can see, my honey bread turned out great. This is just a tiny slice, um, but it just goes to show how easy it is to bake bread with the KitchenAid Precise Heat Mixing Bowl. For my full review of the KitchenAid Precise Heat Mixing Bowl, please visit Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching.